Hello viewers, welcome back to my garage, um, a lot's been happening lately, I have a new acquisition, a Honda CD200, uh, started out as a frame yesterday, uh, came with the engine and exhaust and everything, um, it was just a bare frame yesterday. It needs a good clean up. As you can see, uh, sourcing a carburetor and that, it's got nice slash cut exhaust. Yeah, I need the brake lever there. Very dirty bike, in need of a lot of love. This is a mock up build. Um, I just pre-built it to see what parts I needed. So far I need a cam bush, a uh, carburetor boot, and a uh, wiring harness. I have a coil uh, and a carburetor. Uh, the points and everything is still attached. I must just set that up, take a closer look. There it is there. I'm assuming it's six volts the system. And uh, I don't know much about points and condenser, although being a mechanic, I started in the game a lot later when points and condenser were being phased out, so this is going to be a learning curve. Uh, as you can see, wheels need refurbishing, everything actually. Um, I'm thinking about uh building a honda racer from this one and i was talking about the suzuki as uh, a while back here it is yeah the engine uh crankcase is loosely assembled i managed to get a set of exhausts one is brand new and the other one's a bit worn uh scratched it up in that but it'll work and then in here is a left hand kick starter and two small limb bearings. Um, I got some, I got some barrels, but they are the wrong barrels, unfortunately. Somebody did actually tell me uh, that I must choose the correct barrels, and I went for the wrong ones. So I've had to look again for barrels. Uh, I got a wiring harness and ignition key. Uh, and uh, I also the kickstarter gears were missing. I managed to source uh, a clutch cover and uh, a clutch actuator in my country. Um, so yeah, that's good news. Um, oh, and also, uh, there's a surprise coming with the Suzuki. I'll share with you when it arrives. Uh, I initially, to be honest, bought the CD200 frame to fit the GT250 engine. And, uh, ended up getting an engine for the Honda. Uh, so... I decided to build a Honda and look for another frame for the GT250, which I have managed to find. Uh, it's not a GT250 frame, but I think it's close enough. So, uh, purists look away next week when uh, I make my next video with my new acquisition. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this might upset a few people what frame I'm going to use on that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's the best choice considering it. But anyway, yeah, the Honda, uh, what, the Honda, I'm going to get that frame sprayed once uh, the engine components arrive. And... Uh, It'll be a very slow build. Uh, my main, my main 
project is the Suzuki. Uh, this Yamaha, I never did the seat. Um, reason being is I've got it up for sale. And uh, just so I can pay back some money from building her. And so I can continue with the new projects. So this is up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, very nice work. Uh, well, let's look at the Honda. Uh, the tank's going to go on this. I've seen a, a longer tank. Uh, I think it actually looks like a RD200 tank. And then... Uh, Put a seat on and that the handlebars will be going and uh yeah i'm sure the spots are going to turn out nice when it's done uh also uh put a leather strap on the bonneville uh it's not actually functional uh just saying it looks nice like those old school tank tie-downs that you get. This leather strap is actually from a handbag. The handbag strap. Uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> uh, I quite like.